the Galaxy S26 Ultra might provide the RAM increase you always desired. Over the previous 15 years, Samsung progressively raised the amount of RAM in its Galaxy S flagship phones, but the maximum capacity for the Galaxy S Ultra model has remained the same for the past four years. There is one tiny exception to it, but more on that later. According to a recent claim, Samsung will finally make a shift next year. The next Galaxy S26 Ultra may boast the memory increase you have been expecting for and have 16 gigs of RAM or at least a 16 gigs RAM option internationally, in addition to a 12 gigs edition. In case you are confused, yes, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is technically available with 16 gigs of RAM, but that is only true for very few regions, so it does not count. At least this study by Macquarie Research and Jukanosreve does not count it. That is fair enough. The 16 gigs Galaxy S25 Ultra is not available internationally. You would be fortunate to find it on sale in your market. For most, the flagship caps out at 12 gigs of RAM. Now, according to a graph by Macquarie Research, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will have a more ubiquitous 16 gigs RAM variant. By the sounds of it, the Galaxy S26 Ultra should sport 16 gigs of RAM globally or in most countries. While there has not released the Galaxy S Premium phone with 16 gigs of RAM since 2021. Although the business used to equip its Ultra phones with 16 gigs of RAM four years ago, it scaled down on this feature in 2022. The Galaxy S20 Ultra and Galaxy S21 Ultra were the first and last to feature 16 gigs of RAM choices globally, whereas the four Ultra models that preceded them topped out at 12 gigs, with only the one 16 gigs exception for the S25 Ultra in very few areas. 2022 also marked the first time in a decade that Samsung moved backward with the RAM capacity of its Galaxy S flagships. But after four years of stagnation, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could finally bring the firm back on track. The next-gen Ultra phone for 2026 might finally offer the RAM increase you've been waiting for all these years. Meanwhile, Samsung's largest competitors, like Apple, is also likely to offer an enhanced 12 gigs of RAM option for its forthcoming iPhones this year, but will not make the move to 16 gigs anytime soon. They are also seeking a 16 gigs of RAM in their flagship phone, which makes even more sense in my point of view. Considering, as the business has always been one step ahead of Apple in terms of RAM capacity, if Apple adopts 12 gigs this year, which means they will also want to keep its lead and go to 16 gigs of RAM early next year. And this time, they are probably not going back. With the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and the Flip 7 set for launch, Samsung can now concentrate its development efforts on the Galaxy S26 series. Two variations have come up in a database, suggesting things are basically on track. Sambi Police detected the Galaxy S26 Ultra and Galaxy S26 Edge in the International Mobile Equipment Identity Database. This shows that Samsung is pressing forward with the development of these devices. The Galaxy S26 Edge version carries the model number SMS-947U. Two Ultra versions were observed SMS-948U and SMS-948N. The U suffix indicates that a model is destined for the US market, whereas a N implies a South Korea-bound model. While it is normal for the Ultra variation to be out first, the appearance of the Edge variant provides weight to speculations that indicated the Plus model will be withdrawn. After all, the Galaxy S25 Edge was introduced just last month, so for Samsung to already have its successor in the development pipeline suggests that there will not be a Galaxy S26 Plus. That said, sources also indicated that the Galaxy S26 Plus will be replaced with the Galaxy S26 Edge only if the sleek Galaxy S25 Edge fared well, which isn't the case. Thus, it may be too early to grieve the Plus model. It is probable that the Galaxy S26 Plus will linger around and the introduction of the Galaxy S26 Edge will be brought forward. The Galaxy S26 will be powered by either the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 or the Exynos 2600, depending on the market. One rumor had stated the phones may debut early, but the International Mobile Equipment Identity Certification doesn't speak well for the notion. 
That's because the Galaxy S25 Ultra was identified in the International Mobile Equipment Identity Database in early June last year. For now, Samsung doesn't seem to be contemplating any significant changes for its next flagship devices. One pleasant rumor is that all models will arrive in 16 gigs varieties. The phones may incorporate Perplexity AI. The Galaxy S26 Ultra might maintain the 5000 mAh battery and it might remove the S Pen slot. The basic model is said to have a new ISOCELL GN sensor. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is still a long way off yet, but we're beginning to hear quite a few things about it, with the newest information shedding light on the likely camera, charging capabilities, and the S Pen. All of information comes from tipster Panda Flash Pro, who, in a series of postings on X disclosed different facts regarding the phone. According to them, then the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra would once again sport a 200 megapixel primary camera. In reality, it will supposedly feature precisely the same sensor, but with updated pixels and a new lens. So it should make for a slight update to the primary camera, but probably no big modifications. Yes, to there. S Pen, NATO Magnets A lack of meaningful modifications is somewhat of a trend for the series of leaks, as the same source also states that the S Pen and its dedicated slot will stay, which is maybe predictable, although they caution that future versions may not have a slot for the stylus. And they also suggest that the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra won't feature a magnetic ring to work with QI2 charging and magnetic attachments. This is the same scenario as with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which enables you to utilize those capabilities, but only if you place the phone in a suitable case, with the magnets being incorporated into the case rather than the phone. With the potential exception of eliminating the S Pen slot on a future model, none of this seems shocking, but we'd still take it with a grain of salt, particularly given the source doesn't currently have much of a track record. And although the reports above, implies that not much is changing on the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra, though some other features of it might change, with prior leaks pointing to a variable aperture camera, a larger battery, and a significant performance bump. Next, Galaxy S27 Ultra may receive this sad downgrade, what we know. At this time, we haven't heard a lot about what Samsung has planned beyond the debut of the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and the Z Flip 7 later this summer. Despite that, and the fact that 2026 flagship is still a mystery, we recently heard a rather big rumor regarding the Galaxy S27 Ultra, and it sounds problematic. According to statements made by Lika Setsuna Digital, Samsung might be contemplating eliminating the built-in S Pen on the Galaxy S27 Ultra. The leaker believes that this would see Samsung move back to the external S Pen, as we have seen with Z Fold devices and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is unclear why Samsung may remove the built-in S Pen, particularly given alternative solutions have been less than amazing. Setsuna Digital says that the S21 Ultra's S Pen casing was not visually pleasant, but a subsequent version may be a decent alternative if done right. There are two primary reasons why Samsung could opt to eliminate the built-in S Pen. The first is, of course, cost. Galaxy S Ultra phones are already incredibly costly, and they are not getting any cheaper. Stripping away the S Pen and selling it as a separate accessory allows Samsung the option to minimize some expenses and keep the price unchanged without creating extra losses, which no firm is delighted about doing. Removing the stylus also frees up internal space inside the phone even if the standalone S Pen is provided with the phone. While the stylus is not very huge, space within the tablet is already at premium. Without the S Pen eating up space, it allows Samsung greater leeway to reorganize the S27 Ultra's internals. This might enable Samsung to include larger batteries, new electronics, or just to attempt to make the phone a bit lot bulkier. The Galaxy S27 Ultra is still going to be in the early phases of development, so there is no assurance that the built-in S Pen will be getting eliminated. Setsuna Digital said that it's something Samsung is contemplating, and being as how the hardware won't be locked in for a long, things may and will change over the next few months. However, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 may not be so fortunate, with the leaker stating the S Pen has been scrapped for the foldable smartphone for reasons unclear. 
According to a second leak from Panda Flash Pro, Samsung has scrapped an unknown pen that was supposed to function without a digitizer in the display. They're uncertain which phone this pertains to, although the Z Fold 7 may make the most sense. The phone is supposedly based on the Galaxy Z Fold SE that was unveiled last year, and that phone lacked the digitizer layer that permitted S Pen functioning in folding displays. All in the interest of lowering thickness, presumably. Then the Z Fold 7 is believed to contain a titanium hinge plate, for the exact purpose that the metal is not expected to interfere with the digitizer layer. So it's not apparent which rumors are true right now. We will not know out for sure until Galaxy Unpacked, which is reported to be coming on July 9. As for the Galaxy S27 Ultra, we are going to have to wait even longer before we even get a glimpse of what may be occurring. So stay tuned for further updates on the Galaxy S26 Ultra, and feel free to share your expectations for this exciting new device in the comments below. Then I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.